Good morning guys and girls, it's Stacy here with another episode of Stardew Valley. And what have I got? Where was I last episode? I think I was down the mines because I've got a whole bunch of mine stuff in my inventory. Uh, let's see, some of this stuff will need to go out of the farm. Cave carrot, that'll go straight into the community center um, chesty thing. Bat wings we're gonna need later on. Uh, quartz, have I already given Gunther a quartz? I must have. And an earth crystal. Let's have a look. Um, oh wait, no, I only have three so far. Okay, clearly I need to just harvest all of these crops and get some more seeds. And yeah, then I think, I think by now, when we get this cauliflower, I think now we have everything we need for the community center. Um, what's it bundle? Yeah, we've got a green bean, we've got parsnip, we've got a potato and a cauliflower. Just put the gold parsnips in there before I forget. Uh, so if we have a look, that is spring crops bundle. Yep, that's all that we need for that. So that's good. That should open up some other things. Um, what was it? There was a... Uh, I believe in the craft room there was a... F yeah, the forage bundle. That's where the cave carrot is. Okay, and it shouldn't be too hard for us to get some of the rest of this stuff. I mean, you know, that's, that's just easy peasy. Uh, let's just use that just to make life easier. Oh, grab that last little potato. Okay, I'm gonna sort all of this out and do some watering and then we're gonna go to Pierre's, get some seeds and then, I don't know, we'll figure it out from there on. We, by the time we go to Pierre's and sell some crops and stuff, we should have enough money to be able to upgrade our ax, which might be the most efficient use of money. Probably. We'll see. So it turns out I'm an idiot and it's actually the egg festival today. So <laughs> I guess we're not going to get any seeds. Um, we're just going to go into town and party on, I suppose. <sighs> All these festivals getting in the way. Here we are. Okay. I really want to get just a couple of strawberry seeds, right? Just a, just a few. Maybe... Okay, I meant to get five total. There we go, 10 strawberry plants, that's enough. That was a lot of strawberries, but you know, it'll be worth it. It's, uh, what day of spring is it? I didn't even pay attention to that. But it's enough that um, we should be able to get, let's say it takes eight, eight days for the strawberries to mature. Let's say, this is episode six, six or seven? Seven. So it's spring like 14 or something? I'm just talking to everybody. Um, so we should be able to get a couple of crops of strawberries off. Maybe? I don't know, I'm not really paying attention. Okay, Gus, good. Oh, I finally met Maru, okay. <laughs> right. I shouldn't have bothered running around trying to meet people because like, you just meet them all at the egg festival. And now, now we're good. Let's do the egg hunt. I'll have a sip of tea. Okay. Which way should I go? Up, down, left or right? I think we need to go down. Let's go down. Okay, come on. Are we ready? Yep. Ready? Three, two, one. Yes. Okay. Here's one. Two. Three, how many do I need to win this thing again? Four. I think it's like nine or something. Five. This is when I need a coffee. Six. Uh oh, coming up was a mistake. Seven. 
eight, nine. Yeah, we're good. Let's go get this one in the back of Mayor Lewis's truck. Ten. And eleven. Oh, there was one right there and I didn't see it. Ah! That's alright. We got eleven. We totally won. I remember the first time I ever played this game. I think I got like six. <laughs> Okay, it is Drumroll me! So surprised! <laughs> Not really. Are you gonna need money? Oh I got a straw hat. Ugh. Well can I have money, please? Please, please? Apparently not. Right, well we've got our ten strawberry seeds, so let's plant those. And just like Plonked one randomly. I can't even see. We need another torch. Okay, put this away. I reckon I'm gonna stay up. I'm gonna stay up and finish this copper ore. Because, I mean, copper really doesn't take very long. Now let's put some of this stuff away. Alright, finally finished with the morning chores. Let's put that back. But we want to take five of these. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to get stuff done. Because, yeah, I mean, we don't have very much money. But if we take... Let's see. Why don't we just sell all of this stuff to Pierre? Uh, keep one of each item, just in case there's quests. Radish can stay there. And one potato. Get rid of the acorns. We're not going to sell those. We probably could sell those. Um, if we leave the coal behind. Put the straw hat on our head. That looks so, so dorky. Okay. Grab that. Because, you know, everybody needs a dandelion. And the first thing we're going to do is go to the community center. And we're also going to go via Clint, I think. Yeah, why not? Why not put in all of the things that we can? Let's do that first. She says, and then suddenly there's no room in the inventory for... All of these other things. Okay. Fish tank first. We have a sunfish. We have a... Ocean fish. We have that one. We have... For the crab pot, we have that. And that. And that. Which is a good start. Uh, we have night fishing. We have the bream. Okay, good. That's enough for the fish. Now, for the craft room. We have uh, exotic foraging. We have the cave carrot. Which is good. We're already getting there. Oh yeah, it's the 14th, right. So that means if I plant the strawberry seeds on the 13th, I'm just pausing, I'm just going to do some maths here. 13 plus 8 is 21. And then 6 days, I think it said, between strawberry crops. So we'll get 2 strawberry crops off it. Which is, you know, probably not the best use of my money, to be honest. I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh well. Too late now. Parsnip, bean, collie, and teeter. What you giving me? Speed grow! Woohoo! And... Oh, I'm gonna get the bulletin board now! How exciting! Oh no, I'm getting the boiler room. Now, what's in the boiler room? Ah, oh, I should have bought an extra copper. Should have bought an extra copper. Um, so we go, boiler room. Yeah, those three. 
Yep, I'm already saving up for those. And... Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to do some reorganization when I get back, but that's okay. Alright, time to go to Pierre and see if I can get enough money to get my, um... My apps upgraded. What does old Pierre think today? Oh, good. Sup. You credit stealing. Cool. Alright. Another sip of tea. I need a lot of tea today. I'm quite dehydrated. I don't know why. Well, anyway. Yeah, good for you. Why don't I just say hello to Pierre? Well... I'm not very impressed with him at the moment. In one of my other saves, he took credit for one of my very nice vegetables. It's just rude. I should say hello to Alex, but... You know what? Whatever. There's, there's time to make friends with the townsfolk later. Now. We've got geodes and then... Oh, am I going to have enough? I don't have enough money for all the geodes. Dang. Oh, well, they're not that important. We'll get four of them done and then we'll upgrade tools. Uh, anything interesting? Anything that I need to take to Gunther? Let's have a look. Ah, I can sell the Malachite. Ah, oh, I'm going to have to sell the Malachite. Didn't really think that one through. Give me, please, a copper axe. Oh, I suppose I should say hello to you while I'm here. Well, if you're going to be like that... All right, let me give you some rocks. Oh, new reward. Mm, nice. Ro what reward? Star fruit seeds. All right, I'm gonna leave those there and come back and get them later. Um, now, I think, let's have a look. Let's look at our, our fishing bundle. Okay, so we've got fish tank, river fish. I don't know. So the problem with moving house is that I had a little card with all of the fish that I needed to get and when and it sat next to my computer and now my desk is just covered in cables and all sorts of stuff and I have no idea where all of my Stardew little notes went. I know that some of these you can get in the spring but I'm pretty sure since I don't have any of the lake fish I should probably go up to the lake. So I might, I might go, go do that. I'm gonna have to hope I get some forage on the way because otherwise we're going to run out of energy really quickly. Oh yeah, and I need to check this bin as well. I don't know if there'll be anything in it, but hopefully... Nope. Okay. Okay, well I haven't found any forage. So I'm just going to, you know, chuck my rod in and eat some of the fish that I get. It's just going to have to be the way it is. I mean, I should be able to get some carp, right? That's got to be a carp. If that's not a carp, yeah, it's a carp. So, you know, maybe I'll eat that in a minute. Okay, so we've completely run out of energy and it occurred to me that um, instead of eating the fish, although I might go grab that horseradish in a minute, um, I could just, you know, go to the Adventurer's Guild, do something practical there, because I have a knife that I need to sell. Yeah, here we are. Oh, how many things have I killed? Okay. Nothing. Um, so yeah, I can sell this. 50 gold. Not really worth it. That steel salt, small sword. What is that? It's a level 1 sword, I think. 
isn't it? Let's see, it's a level 1 sword, 4 to 8 damage, 2 speed. So how much would I have to pay to get something that's better? 750 gold at a minimum. Well that's not happening. We're just going to have to suffer with subpar weapons until such time as uh, as we manage to, you know, get better ones. <laughs> until we find the prismatic shard and can get to the desert. Okay, I'm going to go grab that horseradish and I reckon, I mean, oh, I just reckon I'll give it straight to Linus. I mean, dude probably needs some food, right? Oh hey, didn't realise you could turn that off. Yay! Oh, that's horrible. Okay. There we go. Yeah, who was throwing rocks at his tent? Because this is a small community, right? Let's go through. Let's go through. Who throws rocks at Linus? Well, it's not going to be Mayor Lewis. Unless, of course, he's trying to scare Linus off because he doesn't like having a bum around the place. It could be Robin. Because, I mean, she's living here and she she's a bit sort of wary of him. If you read her dialogue, she's sort of like, oh, there's a wild man, he's a bit weird. I don't think it's going to be Harvey. And not Elliot. Doesn't seem like their style. Willie wouldn't even care. Won't be Penny. Clint? Nah, he doesn't care about anything outside his blacksmithing. Pam would be too drunk. It could be Abigail. It's not Jazz. Sam, we know, leads the town in community service hours, so it could actually be Sam. Shane... Shane is a kind of destructive drunk, so it could be him, but it's a long walk for him. And I think he'd be, like, you know, passed out in a ditch somewhere rather than all the way up here. Alex... doesn't really seem like his style. Like, maybe he's acting out, but... I feel like if he wanted to bully somebody, he'd, like, shove them. Jody's too busy at home. Vincent's too small, really. Sebastian? I mean, it could be him. He lives here and he's got a lot of frustration to work out. Could be. Marnie? Nah. Wouldn't, wouldn't pick it. Leah? Nah. Caroline? No, I don't think so. She's too zen. Demetrius? Mmm. Interesting. We know that he has a bit of a messed up relationship with Sebastian. It could be, and also we know that Robin's uncomfortable with Linus, so it could be that he's trying to drive him off. So it could be Demetrius. It's not Maru. Pierre's just a toss pot anyway, but I don't think he's the kind of person that would waste any effort, really. Um, it's not Gus, because we know he feeds Linus. It's not Emily, because she's too, like, hippie. Haley wouldn't bother. Evelyn and George are obviously still at home, and the wizard wouldn't bother either. So we have quite a few suspects. I wonder who it is. I mean, we'll never know because, like, it's not part of the game for us to know. But it's unlikely that it's some random from outside this valley. So, yeah, that means that it is one of the people that we talk and interact to is enough of an absolute toss pot to throw rocks at a poor homeless man. Kind of makes me want to like, you know, play a bit of Cluedo and be like, who did it? And you all suck. But yeah. Anyway, let's find the forage that is conveniently on our farm. And um, yeah, wow, it's pretty much the end of the day. Can we actually get through this way? We sort of can. I really do need to finish clearing this place up and start torching it. Ah, there was a leak as well that I missed on the way to to the community centre today. Um, I'll go grab that first, I think. And get my stone that I missed. Leak. Not oh, dandelion and daffodil. Is there anything else around here? Anything over here while I'm in the area? Okay. What gives us the bus repair? Which one? That's the money one, isn't it? The vault. Okay, we need to. That goes to the community centre, and that goes to the community centre. That's good. 
The chub I don't think goes anywhere. Pretty sure the chub is not part of the fish tank. No. Okay. Um, put this stuff away. Run out of space. Oh no. We don't. Oh, we do have enough wood for another chest. Let's see. Uh, we're going to need that, that, that. I think. I think that's all we need for the adventurer. For the boiler, boiler room bundles. Um, not the adventurer one. Geologist, yeah, it's the quartz and the earth crystal. And yeah, that, cool. Okay. Right, so everything that needs to go in a bundle is there. You know what? Why don't we just go... Why don't we just go put them in there? Why not? It's only nine o'clock. We've got plenty of time. No point going to bed. May as well take the journey now while we can. That, that, that. Yeah, I think I think next episode we're going to have to do some mining because we need to get down to level 40. We need to get some money. Is that readable? No, it's not. Um, if we can get the mushrooms for the exo uh, exotic foraging bundle, that would take us some... Um, yeah... Then we just hang on. Let's have a look. Do I can I build a tapper? Yes. Did I build a tapper? I feel like I might have. Um, where's the foraging craft room? Exotic foraging. Yeah. If I can just get one of these, and then one of the mushroom, two of the mushrooms. I don't know. I don't know. We'll we'll go down the mines next. And have a bit of a think. That made no sense. I don't have any words today. Like, everything's just... You know one of those days where you just, like, your mouth is moving but your brain's not really engaged? Yeah, it kind of feels like that. Oh, well. I don't know. Anyway, I think it's the end. So I'm going to go to bed and um, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Thanks very much for watching. Leave a like if you liked it. And, um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.